For full source code, visit yksoftware.blogspot.com. iPhone Tutorial Database Programming Part 3. Something I forgot, I'm sorry, in the database one app that get that header add a star in the NS Mutable Array Database property. Now go to the root view controller and add an import for the database app delegate. Go to the number of rows and section and place the following code. We're going to need a, to reference the array database that's located in the database delegate. So we're going to need to get a reference to the application delegate. To do this, we're going to type the following code. We're going to define an object of type database app delegate and then we're going to use the shared application del delegate, UI application, shared application, and delegate. We'll return an object of type application delegate, delegate that we can use. After that, we can return the number of rows in the array, the number of objects in the array database. This will represent the number of rows in our table. Now go to where we configure the cells of uh, each cell in the table and place the following code. We need again to reference the application delegate. Like before, I'm gonna get it in the same same command to get the delegate. Now we can use index.row to define which object we need to extract from our database. But before we do that, we need to add an import for a single student object. That's because we're going to take from the array database a single student object. So now we're going to create a single student object. We're going to call it sstudent. And we're gonna extract from the array database where all the all the students are located. We're gonna extract a specific object at the index where the index we are populating now. Index.row. Now we're gonna we can change the cell text to be the name of that student we just extracted. So we're going to write cell.textlabel.text and we're going to populate it with student str name. Str name is the field we name, it's the field for the name. We finished with, with, uh, with this uh, function. Now we need to add an uh, event for clicking the table. For this, we're going to right click classes, add new file, go to UI view controller subclass with NIP for user interface. We're going to name it student info view controller. This will be the class that represents the window that pops up when you click a table. Move the nib to the resources group. Click the header file. Place the file and uh, declare the following the two declare two la labels one for the name and one for the ID. Add a property to those two labels. Make sure you put uh, IB outlet in that property. Go to the implementation file and add a synthesize to both of those labels. Now we're gonna have to actually build the view. So double-click student view, info view controller, 
to Launch Interface Builder. Type in the library label and drag a label to the view. Make it big and make it center. Now duplicate it and place another label underneath the first one. Now we're going to use the connection inspector in the files owner student info view control to connect the ID to the lower one and the name to the upper one. You can save and then quit this window. We're finished with this uh, those classes. Now we're going back to the root view controller. Click the root view controller.m. Add an import statement for the classes we just created. Go go down to a function called did select row with index path. This is the function that executed when we click on the table, in the cell on the table. We're going to define a student info view controller object and initiate it with nib. Now we're going to push it to the navigation controllers. Type self navigation controller, push view controller, and place as a first parameter the object we created above. We're going to need to set the two labels on this control. So for this, we need to take we need to take the same a uh, single student object that we did the function before. So copy it from the function before and paste it in this function. If you remember the first line reference to uh, get a reference to the app delegate and the second one extract, extract from the array database the student that we are now dealing with. Now go to the view controller LBL name set text to the S student str name. This will change the name label, the name label text to be the student name. Then we'll go to view controller LBL ID, set text, and as string string with format. Because it's an integer, we need to uh, make a, turn the integer to a string. So we're going to use string with format, place percentage and i. And for the for the second uh, parameter, we're going to send student int id. This will uh, place the integer as a string. After that, we can release the view controller object. We're pretty much finished. You can build and run and see the result. Opening window and a number, a list of names, and you click a name, a name, and an ID appears. That's it for this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one where we'll learn another database operations.